Hey guys, welcome back. A long time no talk. I know I've been gone for a while and I wanted to do this quick video because I promised it in my last video and then I just like couldn't get the time to sit down and do it. So today I thought I'm going to do it really quick. Um, it is my 100 subscriber giveaway video. Okay, so and I've surpassed it by I think I think I'm at 115, which thank you all so much. It's so, so exciting. So this is just a little give back, a little thank you all. Um, it's going to be very simple. I love the simple giveaways. Like I love, sorry, I'm fidgeting again. I love, you know, the simple videos or giveaways to enter myself. And I just think like if you're doing a giveaway to say thank you or a giveaway to give back to your subscribers, I don't think you should like make them jump through hoops. You know what I mean? So I don't care if you follow me on any other my social media. All I have is a Facebook um, and an Instagram, which I do have a Snapchat, but I never, I never use it or I get on spells. So none of that stuff. All you have to do is follow me here, be subscribed to my channel and leave one comment down below. And I want your comment to be what, tell me what kind of videos you like to watch. And the reason why is I want some ideas of what kind of videos you guys want to see. Like if you want to see more tutorials, let me know. If you want to see more hauls, let me know. If you want to see, um, how to's DIYs or anything like that like a what's in my purse man do you guys remember watching those like those have kind of went uh on the back burner I used to love what's in my purse videos what was some other old ones that were like going around tag videos if you guys want to see I have some like ideas for tag videos that I've created myself um but anyway, just let me know. Leave that one comment down below. So those are the only rules. Oh, and thumbs up this video. So follow me on here. Be subscribed to me on here. Leave me one comment of a video you'd like to see and thumbs up this video. That is it. And I'm going to let it run for like a week or two, probably two weeks. I'll let it run for two weeks. And then that I will um, put in the description who is the winner. And then I will also contact the winner via the way they... Um, commented on here. So whatever YouTube channel you or account, sorry, you comment on here that, that like be checking your notifications in two weeks because that's how I will um, contact you. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to take every person's name that contacted or commented down below in this video. I'm going to take their name, write it down on a little piece of paper, throw it in a hat. I'm going to let my husband or one of my kids pick a name out and you're the winner. That's it. Simple as that. It's just a small, it's just a thank you to you guys where I've hit a hundred. I'm like so, so excited. Um, and I just want to give back and then I will do more. Like once I get to 500, I want to do a, this is a drugstore. These are like some of my favorite things from the drugstore. When I hit 500, I will do like, sorry, I will do like a high end. Um, I will get you guys like some high end stuff to give away. So, um, these are drugstore items. Every single one of these, I think, but besides one, are like my favorites that I want to give to you guys. So the first thing that you will win if you win this giveaway, I bought this back, you know, around the holidays. It is a e.l.f. Um, seven piece brush set. Okay. And these are all silver, like chrome. They're really pretty. And the reason why I got these is because you cannot go wrong with e.l.f. brushes. Even if you are like a seasoned makeup artist, you have been doing makeup for years, or if you're a beginner, you cannot go wrong with e.l.f. brushes. They're really good, really soft. They do the job. They're inexpensive. So I wanted to get um, some of these. So like I said, even if you're a beginner, you're, you know, just watching my channel and you're a beginner, these will be good for you. Or if you've been doing makeup for years, you can add these to your collection and you can't go wrong with them. Okay, so there's two of that, or that, two more brushes. And these are like my favorites. The Wet n Wild brush line, the ones that are like white, with the pink the contour brush you will win that because this is one of my absolute favorite for actual contour bronzing or blush so you're gonna win that and then this one right here oh my gosh I want to get like 10 backups this is their focus you see it okay this is their crease brush I love this is so soft so fluffy I use this to place initial um, my transition color or just to really really blow that crease out because it's so big and so fluffy so you're going to win that okay the next thing I picked up because I absolutely adore these are they're really really good liquid lipstick I got you guys one of the um, tattoo junkie liquid lipsticks I got the one in skinny dip and this, it comes with a glitter. You, I don't use the glitters. No, you can if you want, you know, want to do the whole glitter lip thing. 
you just pat the glitter on before the liquid lipstick dries or you can use the glitter like on your eyes or whatever for anything you can use that glitter but just for the liquid lipstick alone these are amazing liquid lipsticks they really remind me of the formula of like kind of like the Huda Beauty like they're kind of um, really thin and liquidy they dry quickly and they are not over drying they're they're beautiful I love these so this is my favorite color in the ones I have so I got you guys that okay this will kind of go along the line I use this every single day of my life this is the elf lip exfoliator I got you guys in the uh, the one in I believe it's sweet cherry yes yeah, sweet cherry and this is just it smells amazing and put it on before liquid lipsticks I put it on like in my daily routine I will you know wash my face in the morning take a shower when I get out um, you know, I'll put on my eye cream, face cream, lip exfoliator, wipe it off, and then put on a, like, a lip treatment. Um, so I got you guys one of those because I use it daily. Okay, the next thing I got, the, now this one, I picked it up. Uh, these are new. I picked me one up at Target, and I brought it home, and I was like, oh my gosh, this formula is really, really nice. So I got you guys one. But it is one of the e.l.f. Um, bronze and blushers, but this is the aqua one. They're cream. And this is a really good creamy formula. Let me show you. I'll get mine out really quick and swatch it for you guys. Um, and I use it. Like, I really use this. This is really good to... Oh, my gosh, guys. I've got to get organized. Like, my makeup area. I'm getting a new vanity and, like, a new shelf and a new... Like, I'm trying to revamp this whole area. And I need to get another nine drawer because I just really need to get organized. This is ridiculous. Okay, here it is. Yes, this is it. And it looks dark and scary, but let me swatch it because it's it's beautiful. And like I just take a little brush and I'll oh my gosh, I just dug my nail all up in that. Oh. I'll take a little brush and I'll pat I'll show you actually the brush I used for it cuz it's still like Is it? Yeah, it's still got it on there actually. This is the brush I use. It's a Morphe um brush. Is it focused? Oh my goodness. I'm having difficulties today. Okay, this little brush like this, it's a Morphe M517 and I'll put it in the um, contour and then I just like pat it and then take my beauty blender, a really damp beauty blender and um, blend it out. But these are so like creamy. Okay, that's what they look like swatched on the finger. See, they're not too crazy. And then you, you look at it and you think, oh my goodness, like that's gonna be crazy. But they're really not. And let me show you, like, they bl look at that. They just, like, blend out really nicely. And the blush, I would do, like, a little stipple brush or something like that. So, I'm all over the place, guys. I'm sorry. Okay, so I got you guys. There's yours of that. You're going to win that. Okay, the next thing I got you, Elf. Now, this is the one thing I told you that I didn't try. There's one thing I didn't try, but I thought it was, like, it sounded neat. I don't really... Um, have an oil problem I can be oily um different times of the month if you get my drift but my skin is more normal dry okay and then like I said certain times of the month I will get you know oily right in here so I don't really use a mattifying setting spray but I saw this and I just thought it was such a cool like I'm really glad the elf came out with these so I picked it up for you guys like whoever wins hopefully you can use it, but it's called a uh, Mist and Set Matte Magic. Okay, so they have, I think they had an illuminating one, the original, and then the matte one. So I thought that was so cool that they're expanding their line um, of their setting sprays, their makeup, period. Elf's makeup has expanded and been knocking my socks off. So I got you guys that. Okay, that is it with Elf. Okay, I'm going to show you. I'm going to leave the best for last. This is something, too, I'm kind of concerned about shipping this, but I'm going to make sure I tape it up and put it in a sandwich bag or several or whatever. I'll make sure it gets to you safely. But this is the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. I got you guys a travel size. I have already went through two of these. I'm on my third. I use this daily. This takes off your makeup like no other. I put it on a little... Um, I have to show you guys my Holy Grail um, cotton pads, I guess you could call them. They are a dupe for the Shiseido. I get them at Walmart. They're super cheap. They're super soft. They don't, you know, fuzz off or whatever. But I put this on one of those, hold it on my eye for a second, and everything's off. And then I take it for the rest of my face. And it's not over oily. It has just enough in it to really take it off and moisturize your face and not feel like it's drying it out like some toners. 
but it's not over oily like some makeup removers. You know the ones you put on and you're just like, you feel like you are a grease ball and you have like oil sitting on top of your skin. This is the, it doesn't do that. This is the perfect formulation. So I got, picked you guys up one of those. This is another thing I use on a daily. This is the Batiste Dry Shampoo. I got you guys a travel size of that. I got you guys the Floral Flirty Blush. I use the uh, one for dark hair, but they didn't have that in a travel size. And plus, I don't know who's going to win this. So I thought, you know, anybody can use the original. You know, if I got the dark one and somebody blonde won it, you wouldn't be able to use it. So I got the original. I use this on a daily, the Batiste Dry Shampoo. That's another thing I go through, and if I did empties videos, which I may start doing, you guys would see that in there constantly. Okay, here are the last two things, and these are the most exciting, I think. Okay, so Wet n Wild came out with these a long time ago, and then they re-released them. I got them a long time ago. That's another one that I am going to swatch for you. Let me go ahead and get them out, but let me show you. Okay, this is the Wet n Wild Highlighter in Precious Petals. It is absolutely gorgeous. Now, I, they came out with two. I didn't get the other one because I don't use that one. So, I can't really go, oh, you know, this is one of my favorites. So, I just got you guys this one. Um, the other one is like dark. It, it It's like a coral peachy. I would use it as a blush topper. Okay, if I can, I'm telling you guys, I'm so, my makeup storage is so jam-packed and it's ridiculous. I really got to get organized. Okay, I found it. Um, just leave that alone. Okay, here's your all so you can see it's sealed, never been touched. Okay, and here is mine. And I'm going to swatch. The, these highlighters are insane. So when I saw they came back out with these, and I'm sure they're selling out really fast, I grabbed you guys one. Okay, so this one is mine. I'm swatching. I'll put it right here. There is that baby. Look at that glow, girls. Oh my goodness, it is the most beautiful champagne-like goodness. So I picked you guys up that. I hope you love it. It is, you will, you're going to love it. You, it is amazing. Okay, and the last thing, look, I opus, almost opened your alls. This is the very most exciting. Okay, can you guys see the fuzz for me taking that towel and wiping? <laughs> it is, I don't know, there, a lot of people had a hard time getting their hands on it, but it is the Wet n Wild Gold Bar Highlighter. And this one is your alls. I'm going to swatch mine. When I found these, when I finally found these, they had three, I think. No, they had two. So I picked me one up and I picked my friend one up. And then I went back and because I knew I wanted to get you guys this. So I looked and looked and looked for it. And finally, I found another display and they had one left and I grabbed it for you guys. So again, I'm going to swatch it here. I want to show you guys I'm not opening yours or touching it. Here's yours right here. Here's mine. So I'm going to swatch it. This is another one that is just insane beautiful. Oh. It is like the most, oh my goodness, it's so pigmented. It is just a beautiful gold highlighter. It is right there. Look at that. Oh my, and that's just like one little swatch. I just kind of swirled just a little bit, and look, I still have it left on my finger. So there's that. So that's what you guys are getting in this giveaway. I hope you guys like everything. You know, I hope I did, like, made some good choices. And I know it's just drugstore. You know, I wanted to start off kind of you know my first video or my first giveaway I didn't want to set the bar too high and then have a hard time following up with that because I plan on doing lots of more giveaways as I grow you know once I hit different miles milestones um, I will do bigger and bigger giveaways so I thought you know 100 to me is a huge milestone but you know it's still I still have a way to go so but I appreciate every 100 I think like I said now I have 115 I appreciate every 115 of you I love you so much. I appreciate you being here, watching me, supporting me. Stick around. Let me know. Talk to me down below. Feed, give me feedback. Like, you know, that's one of the things I want you guys to tell me. What kind, what are your favorite videos to watch? And I, because I want to, you know, you guys to enjoy watching and me film videos that people are going to like watching. So, um, even if it's vlogs, I do, once I get more subscribers, you know, I plan on doing vlogs and stuff, kind of doing my, uh, Go, take you guys along with me to my daily um, adventures I get into, you know, and looking for certain things and, you know, like if I'm on the hunt for drugstore stuff, take you guys with me to the CVS's and Rite A's and all that. So I do plan on doing vlogs too. So let me know down below your favorite kind of videos to watch. Uh, give it a thumbs up. Be subscribed. I'll let it run two weeks and then I will contact you personally. I'm not going to do a video like announcing it because I'm just going to privately 
you know, contact the person first. And then I'll put it in the description bar of this video in two weeks. Um, the name of the winner. I was looking for my, my phone's way over there. I was going to give you guys the exact date two weeks from today. Um, but my phone's way over there. So in two weeks... I will contact the person, they will know first, and then I will put the winner in the description bar. So this is just a huge thank you. I appreciate you all so much for watching me and being interested in anything I have to say. I love you all so much. Stick around and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.